Michigan won the toss. Deferred Indiana will get the football first. Now this is a series that dates back to 1900. A meeting here in Ann Arbor. Michigan leads it 51 to 10. And the Wolverines have won two straight and 26 of the last 27 dating back to 1988. He's from Greenwood, Indiana, and on first down, he wants to throw it, and he'll just pop it out of bounds, incomplete. Jalen Lucas, they need to get him the ball as often as they can, preferably on the outside in space. Second down and 10 at the 25-yard line, and they'll throw it out in space, and it's Lucas trying to turn it up, and he's wrestled down quickly. Josh Wallace, Christian Turner, comes in at running back. Here's Jackson to throw it, and that one behind his receivers, some miscommunication. So Indiana three and out to start this game as Michigan prepares to get the football. James Evans will punt it away for IU, punted five times last week. Jack, Jake Thaw is the return man. He usually comes in when they want a fair catch it. Evans, not a very good one as he shakes this one out of play in Michigan will get great field position to start close to the 50-yard line. Clay Corm in the backfield. And on first down, McCarthy throwing at the sideline, and that is incomplete, intended for his tight end, Colston Loveland. Second down and 10 at the 48-yard line. Max Bredesen, a tight end, lines up in the backfield. Here's Blake Corm, and Corm will get inside Indiana territory. Aaron Casey with the tackle defensively for IU. Third down and seven at the 49, empty backfield. Opening series for Michigan, and McCarthy in trouble, trying to break tackles, and McCarthy will be sacked at his 32-yard line. Casey in there to clean it up. Linnell Carr Jr. there as well, a loss of 13 yards. Well, they're just going to blitz. Six guys, only five in protection, so the ball has to come out hot. J.J.'s got to get that one out of his hand as quickly as he possibly can because that is an unblocked player. And Aaron Casey, again, the initial pressure, able to get cleaned up there. Linnell Carr, and that is a really good defensive series to open things up for Indiana after the great field position that Michigan had offensively. So Tommy Doman will punt it away. Jalen Lucas, the deep man for IU at his own 20. He comes up to field it and has it at the 23. It didn't happen on the first drive, and we'll see if it moves forward here. On first down, they'll throw it to the far side. That ball caught. Nice throw. Cam Camper with the reception in front of Josh Wallace, who gained six. The difficult part is on the opposite side for Michigan. Jesse Mentor, the defensive coordinator, he really doesn't know what to expect because this could be a wholesale change for Indiana. They had a, an off week last week. So he's gone into this game as more of an opener mentality, like it's the first game of the season, not knowing what to expect from the opposition. You'll probably see more base defense. Second down and four at the 30-yard line. They'll run it with Turner, and Turner will get across the line of scrimmage and run into Derek Moore, picks up a couple of yards on the play. And now on a third down, watch out for Josiah Stewart. He's a transfer from Coastal Carolina. He's up there, defensive end on the top of your screen. He can really rush the quarterback. Third down and two. Jackson guns it underneath, caught, and a first down for the Hoosiers. Nicely done. Bradley Archer, the tight end, with the reception, and that's a gain of 10. How about Stanford last night coming back to beat oh, Colorado man. on the road? Your I, boys. I thought we were going to get out of the first quarter until you got me like that. All right, up first down. And this is a reception to Camper. <laughs> and Camper will pick up 15 yards. So a first down and 10, second series for Indiana, moving the ball against the Wolverines. Jackson sprints out of the pocket, throws across his body underneath and incomplete. DQ Carter, the target, and there's a flag on the play. There is no foul for an illegal formation. The receiver on the near side of the formation moved to the line prior to the snap. Second down. Empty backfield for Jackson. Here's Jackson. Quick throw underneath, caught. Good positive yardage again. Omar Cooper Jr. with the grab. A gain of seven on second and ten. Third down and three at the 36-yard line. Motion. They hand it off. Looking for the first down and have it with Christian Turner. 
as he gets inside the Michigan 30. First down at the Michigan 29. Play fake. Jackson looking. Drops it off near side. Caught. And that's DQ Carter once again who gets out of play. Mikey Sane was still defensively a five-yard gain. Jackson over the middle this time. Another catch. This time it's McCulley. Another pitch and catch. Can the Hoosiers pay it off? On first down, they'll run it straight ahead with Turner. 11th play of the drive. Second and six at the 10. They'll pitch it. Turner near side. And Turner met by Josh Wallace. First man to him. Not a lot on that left side. A loss of one. Christian Turner lines up in the backfield and some movement on the left side. And that will go against the Hoosiers, number 65, Carter Smith. False start. Offense number 65. Five-yard penalty. Third down. Third down and 12 of the 16. Jackson. And that one deflected and intercepted. Michigan has it. Rod Moore. And the Wolverines force the turnover and advance it up to the 40-yard line. First down and 10 at the 41. And they'll hand it off. Blake the Great. Blake Corm straight ahead. And Philip Dunham with the tack. Corm remaining in the backfield. Here's McCarthy. JJ. Look at And he's sacked again for the second time. Great pressure from behind. Linnell Carr Jr. again in the backfield. And he's credited with his second sack of the day. Good coverage. Watch as they're trying to get crossers from this left side. They're trying to get crossers up there. They don't get them. Linnell Carr finally hunts them down for the sack. A loss of three. Third down and seven for Michigan. The offense looking sluggish to start this game. Minus eight yards. Here's McCarthy. Steps up in the pocket over the middle and deflected at the last moment. Well defended. Roman Wilson was the intended receiver. And now Michigan has to punt. Michigan two possessions, two three and outs. Jalen Lucas lets it take a bounce and it will be downed inside the 25. We'll see how it goes because Jackson played well in that last series. On well, first down, Sorsby decides to run it, turns it up and gets to the 30. Seven yard run, second down and three at the 30 yard line. Turner remains in the game and running back. Sorsby sprints out of the pocket on the move, delivers incomplete. From the 30 yard line, Lucas the motion man, play fake. Sorsby runs it, picks up a first down and more. Beautiful run. They'll hand it off and push the pile forward, pick up a couple. Second down and seven at the 49. Soresby whips it out. Lucas turns it up, and Lucas runs into a teammate. If not, he may have had more yardage. Ran into Christian Turner. Love, baby. 56 years old. Soresby keeping the ball, looking for that first down. First down at the Michigan 44. Soresby steps up. And they want a trick play here. Here's the pass wide open. Touchdown, Lucas. Indiana, a 44 yard strike as Donovan McCulley put it on a rope. And they go quarterback sneak and they have that play ready to go so they don't have to take too much time. Beautiful call from Rod Carey, the offensive coordinator. Chris Freeman with the extra point, and how about this? So how will the Wolverines respond? Being down on their home pitch from the 15-yard line, they'll cross the 20, get it up to the 23-yard line. Samaj Morgan, first down at the 23 for a sluggish Michigan football team. Trailing 7-0, Lake Corum. Can't bring him down, he'll gain a couple. Second down and eight. Corm remains in the game as the pistol back. Play fake. Here's McCarthy. Sacked twice already. McCarthy running and lost it. Dropped behind the, the line of scrimmage by Aaron Casey. And that is a sack, a loss of two. Third and ten. Third sack of the first quarter. Here's McCarthy airing it out. 
And puts it on the money. Nicely done, Colston Loveland. First down and 10 at the 36. McCarthy hands it off to Corm. Corm with space, and Corm will pick up a first down. Talk about those sacks, though. The last time McCarthy was sacked three times was in the college football playoff semis against TCU last year. That didn't end too well for the Wolverine. Well, and remember how many times they had to throw it that day, right? That was just a, a, a very different style of game than what Michigan wants to play or is used to playing. They want to be like a boa constrictor and, and just restrict the offensive possessions of their opponent and just wear you down with this offensive line. But so far, they've had a complete inability to do that today. And that'll take us to the end of the first quarter. Blake Corum finally broke off a nice run there in that last series. On first down, here's McCarthy, drops it off. And it's Loveland again with the big pickup. First down at the 39 for the Wolverines. Best series so far. Corum breaking tackles. And Corum finally gobbled out by Ladarius Cox. A three-yard game. Second and seven at the 36. Johnson in motion. Play fake. McCarthy looking for Johnson over the middle. Has him and he makes the catch at the 21 for 15. In front of Nick Toomer. Here's a fake reverse. McCarthy steps up, wanting to run, and he's tackled quickly as he crosses the line of scrimmage by Anthony Jones, who held on and brings him down. Jim Harbaugh told us yesterday that he can see him running a 4 4 at times, second and nine at the 20. And here's Corum. Lowers his shoulder, first down and more. Blake Corum. Corum remains as a single setback. They'll give it to him. Corum gets inside the five and goes down close to the one. But today, no Khalil Mullings, who's normally the short yardage back. That's why you're seeing Corum in here near the goal line. Second down. Here's Corum looking for the end zone and has it. Michigan on the board now as Blake Corum diving forward. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense number 89, the 15 yard penalty move forced on the kickoff, and that is number 89's first unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the game. Well, the touchdown will stand for Blake Corum. It will, and look at that guard, Zach Zinter. That is a pro right there. In tight quarters, still the athleticism to pull around, get that defensive end blocked out. And then here's Barner on the opposite side. And it's always the second guy. See how he knocks the arm away? Oh, come on. Yeah, let's keep the flag in the pocket. Come, come on. on. Come that's, on. That's just football. They're at the goal line. What are we doing? When you talk about that Michigan offensive line. And Jalen Lucas. Gets over the 30, up to the 32. However, he's just two for 18 in Big Ten play over the last three years. First and 10 at the 32 over the middle. And that ball caught by Donovan McCulley. Second down and four at the 38-yard line. And the handoff goes to Trent Howland. And Trent Howland will pick up the first down. Quarterback draw in trouble. Shoresby gets outside and is finally pushed out of bounds. Second and four at midfield. Lucas trying to cut it back. And he'll be short of the first down. It'll bring up third down. Makari Page again defensively for the Wolverines. The third down and two. Shoresby under pressure. And incomplete. Tyler Morris, the deep man. And he signals for the fair catch and has it at the 13. First to 10 at the 13. And they'll give it to the Don. And Donovan Edwards, how about some of the games he had over the last two years, especially against Ohio State and in the Big Ten Championship. Second down and nine at the 14. McCarthy 
to Edwards out of the backfield makes the first man miss and the Don gets out of bounds at the 30 in front of Louis Moore a gain of 17 first and 10 at the 31 Edwards and he'll get the ball up to the 35 a three yard gain this 7 7 they're not going to be worried they're going to stick with that run game second down and seven for Edwards you know that offensive line there are some interesting cats offensive linemen as you know are always pretty pretty interesting some of them are hunters and fishers like to drive Ford F-150s but these guys you know what they do to stay together Joel what do they do right up your alley what? they are golfers oh come on let's go I'm telling you Drake Nugent the center is the best golfer he shoots in the 90s Miles Hinton they say has the best swing here's McCarthy looking Flag on the play, free play. McCarthy down the field, caught. And this one reeled in by Tyler Morris. Offside, defense number 41. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is a first down. And they pitch it back to McCarthy, looking over the middle. Caught again by Tyler Morris in a first down Wolverine. Here's McCarthy to the sideline back shoulder throw and it's caught A.J. Barner. First down and goal at the 10 yard line out of the eye. Edwards the deep man. And they'll give it to him running left cuts it back and goes down inside the 10. Gains a couple. I'll tell you I, I love the way that that Lions team is built. You know, there's some similarities between the Wolverines and the Lions, the way that they're built, and in, in a large, in a larger sense, they're a reflection of Michigan. Just the right. way they're built, the efficiency, the broad shoulders, the offensive line. That's right, big three. Here's McCarthy looking for the end zone, incomplete. Remember, he's got great legs. Third down and goal at the eight. McCarthy looking, bounces it outside. Turns the corner, squares his shoulder, and finally pushed out of bounds inside the five. Third down goal of the two. Corman, the game and running back. Make, excuse me, fourth down and goal of the two. Here's McCarthy in the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. Roman Wilson. Ninth receiving touchdown of the year for Roman Wilson. Came into this game with 22 catches for. 282 yards extra point is good there have been some great number ones at Michigan Derek Alexander David Terrell Braylon Edwards but the greatest number one as Roman and I talked about yesterday and he knew who it was was the great Anthony Carter wasn't he good Rick Leach to Anthony Carter reminds me of a childhood I was gonna say right that's that's right when you were growing up right that's right Watched him all the time. This one kicked into the end zone for a touchdown. Brendan Soresby remains in the game at quarterback. Here's Soresby drops it off. Lucas. And Lucas will be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. From the 25, Soresby delivers. Deep shot. And caught. McCulley again flag on the play though personal foul hands to the face up to 50 the 15 yard penalty being forced half the distance to the goal from the previous spot second down from the 13 yard line let's see if Michigan brings some pressure and they run the option to the far side Soresby cuts it up and it'll get to the 19 yard line before being written down Ernest Hausman defensively for the Wolverine third down and 16 at the 19 Soresby over the middle incomplete Tyler Morris is the deep man James Evans punting deep in his own territory he stands at his own five this one takes a bounce picked up at the 20 yard line look at this run down the sideline Morris 
And he'll go out of bounds inside Indiana Territory. A 31-yard return. First down at the 46. McCarthy sprinting out of the pocket. And McCarthy will skip forward and gain three yards. Flag on the play. Marcus Burris Jr. Little rough stuff at the end. And just no need for it. You know, you had the penalty, and I understand it's an effort thing, hands to the face. It negates that long completion down the left sideline for Indiana. But that one, Marcus Burris, I don't, I don't know if he was in pain after, the after or what. Personal foul, late, late hit. hit. Defense number 92. The 15-yard penalty is added to the end of the run. Automatic, first down. He was grabbing at his hip, but it, I mean, it wasn't McCar McCar McCarthy's fault. And he rips back on kind of the horse collar area. And tosses him over the top, just totally ill-advised, in particular when you're looking at a one-possession game. Michigan won the toss, deferred. They're going to get the kick to start the second half. This is the moment that Michigan starts to put their foot on your throat. You see them feel the momentum in the building. They're getting their offense rolling a bit. Now it's a minute 27 and counting. First down and 10 at the 28. And they'll run it with Edwards. Gains three. Second down and seven to the 25. McCarthy over the middle. Caught. This time it's Roman Wilson. The first down. First down at the 18. McCarthy will throw it. McCarthy in trouble. McCarthy out of the pocket. Oh, he just pitches it. Edwards. And he goes down at the two. Noah Pierre with the saving tackle. 16-yard gain. Well, there's magic in those McCarthy legs, and then that decision-making avoids the rush. What a great pitch. McCarthy now with the handoff. Donovan Edwards denied the end zone. Gains a yard. Ladarius Cox with the tackle. Corm in the eye formation, the deep man. Here's the give. Touchdown, Wolverines. Second of the day for Blake the Great. James Turner comes in to attempt the extra point. And it's good. 21 unanswered points by Michigan. Wolverine send it away. Lucas will get a shot from the four. And Lucas out of bounds at the 20. Flag on the play. During the return. Holding, holding return team return number 86 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul first down resurrecting this program especially over the last couple of years after the covid year they struggled restructured his contact contract came out the next season won the big 10 championship beat the buckeyes went to the college football playoff he's done it two years in a row they think that this could be the season that they can win a national championship. We'll see. Halftime in Ann Arbor, 21 to 17. Blake Corm with two scores. Chris Freeman will send it away. Here we go, second half. Starting. Morgan from the six. With a lane. Gets to the 30, up to the 35 before finally being taken down at the 36 for Michigan in the first half. Four penalties for 44 yards. McCarthy runs it with a lane. J.J. all day out of bounds as he picks up a first. First down at the 46. Opening series for Michigan here in the second half. Loveland in motion. McCarthy to throw it over the middle. Goes through his progressions. And he finds Tyler Morris. You're right, Joel. This Tyler Morris is getting a lot of looks. Second down and two at the 46. Blake Corm following his blocks. And what a terrific tackle. I tell you what, Aaron Casey fought off a man and made the play. There's your young mistake right there. Tyler Morris, top of your screen. Ball start. Offense number eight. Five-yard penalty, third down. Edwards in the game at running back. McCarthy 
Feeling the pressure. McCarthy throws. Caught. Down the sideline. Loveland breaks it in. Touchdown, Wolverines. Colston Loveland. 54 yards. That is some beautiful play by the quarterback. Totally in control on the outside. Extra point up and good. Gabe McNamara was the starter when they won their first Big Ten championship. McNamara now has since moved on to play at Iowa. Wolverines send it off. First down and 10 of the 25 for IU. And they'll run it. Not a lot of room for their quarterback, Brendan Soresby, as Mason Graham. I like this young guy here. Second down and long. Over the middle. Incomplete. Indiana kind of falling apart here now. Mason Graham with pressure. Third and 10 of the 25 for Indiana. Soresby in trouble. Soresby and he's sacked inside the 10. So James Evans will punt inside his own end zone. Jake Dahl ready to fair catch it. Goes back and picks it up. He'll run it. And crosses the 45 up to the 47. We'll tell you about it after this play off first down. And here's a handoff. Corn. Corn will push the foul forward. Close to eight yards. So we're talking to Trevor Keegan yesterday in the lunchroom in Ann Arbor. And he says, you know, when Coach Harbaugh and company came to visit me, I asked him if he knew about the young quarterback about 45 minutes away in LaGrange Park, Illinois, by the name of J.J. McCarthy. Second and one. Here's a handoff, first down. Michigan, four. Keegan from Crystal Lake, Illinois. Now McCarthy steps up. McCarthy wants to run. McCarthy gets outside, and McCarthy's tight rope in the sideline out of bounds. He's got some quick feet, folks. He does. He, no, he can do that. He can go to another place for this offense and take them above the X's and O's. And, and I think that's what makes them so dangerous, to be honest. Because on schedule, Gus, they're really good. They're blueprint. The problem is for the opponents. Even if you get them off schedule, even if you get them outside of their comfort zone, number nine is a playmaker back there, and he's shown that today. Second down and goal of the seven. They bring number seven, Donovan Edwards, in. He's lined up as a receiver. They throw it to the far side on the hitch, and this is Morgan trying to make moves. Touchdown, Wolverines. Wow. Samaj Morgan. Tell you, West Bloomfield, Michigan now, folks, is becoming kind of like Chandler, Arizona. A lot of prospects yes. coming out of that area. Jalen Lucas, the return man, lets it go over his head and into the end zone. Can't wait to watch that Oregon Washington game. That's going to be great. And they run it with Turner, tries to turn the corner, no. Mike Samer still, Mikey Samer still, that is. Only a one yard game. But you see these guys run in and out and you realize how fresh they can stay because of how many different Michigan Wolverines play. On second down and nine, and that's incomplete. Third down and nine. At the 26, empty backfield, and a sack! How about that? Michigan bringing pressure and a fumble as well. And Michigan says they have it, and they do. This is first down and 10. At the 15, Edwards and Donovan Edwards. Upended by Aaron Casey. Moving it around. Second down and eight at the 13. Play fake. McCarthy steps up and sacked again. That's a fourth sack for Indiana today. And a fumble on the play as well. Looks like Miles Jackson got him. And Michigan says they have the football. Third down and 12 of the 17. McCarthy wants to run it with room. Breaks it inside. Tries to get outside. Spins and goes down. 
At the 10, Anthony Jones with the tackle after the seven yard gain. And it's up and good. Doman will kick it away. Jalen Lucas, the deep man. And into the end zone. I think that this team is better at the line of scrimmage. You know, from, from what I've seen. On both sides? Yeah, mo most likely. They'll run it on first down. Jalen Lucas. It's second down and six at the 29. And now my phone's about to blow. Oh, it's going to blow up. And they fire it out near side. Jalen Lucas is close to that first down marker. Looks like he has it. Ohio State clearly getting great quarterback play out of McCord. They've got Marvin Harrison Jr. You know, in, a, in a defense, by the way, that's playing way better than what they did a year ago. And so the defensive battle in the Big Ten East, Gus, is what I'm so excited to see down the stretch. No divisions, and it's just going to be one big conference. Uh, they'll have a few games that, oh, that one's dropped right there. That was a forward pass, though, so that should be incomplete, and it is, as Lucas kind of dropped it out there on the on the edge. Taking his time. He's come in for Taven Jackson to play most of the game. Here's Soresby. Quick release up high caught. Is it a grab? Yes. What a catch. A tough one. Omar Cooper Jr. 17 yard pickup. I cannot believe he held on to this. I mean Cooper the first thing to touch is his head. That's that is incredible body control to just to catch the ball. And then he comes down first thing to hit is his head like Head is a body part. That's the first thing that touched right there. If he had control, which he did, that should be a catch. The ruling on the field on the previous play was completed pass for a first down. Michigan has called a timeout to challenge that ruling. The ruling is under further review. The ruling on the field of catch is confirmed. Michigan uses their timeout and loses their challenge for the remainder of the game. Indiana is one of those uh, how do I put it middle programs where they're going to get poached from the top so their best players like Desan McCullough or AJ Jalen Lucas you know, well let's, maybe let's hope not let's hope not you know can get poached by teams that are higher in teams Desan McCullough goes to OU AJ Barner goes to Michigan and they try to get their shot that way and then there are depth players that want to get a chance at lower level schools so they get poached from both sides and it makes it incredible difficult on Tom Allen in particular in a school that you know, might not be as competitive from an NIL perspective you know in, in recruiting but I don't think that you have to partake in that I think Michigan is, is an example of a team that wants to reward guys that are on the roster versus guys that are not yet on the roster but that's hard for an Indiana team that doesn't have the history of a Michigan or the, the ongoing success of a Michigan that they're currently having. Soresby has taken every snap since the third series when he entered the game. Second down and 11, Soresby guns it, caught. Cam Camper, third down and three at the 32. Soresby trying to make something happen, just delivers incomplete. So on fourth and three, Indiana going for it. Soresby in trouble, lost the ball, picked up. Michigan has it. How about the big fella, Mason Graham? So Michigan takes over at the 49. Here's a handoff. Second down and 10. Toward the end of the quarter, Tuttle over the middle, rifles it, and it's caught by Tyler Morris. And that'll take us to the end of the third. You know what I like to call this place? What? College football's cathedral. Yeah. That's what it feels like. I would agree with you. I could just hear John Facenda, the voice of NFL film saying something about Michigan. Oh, how about James Earl Jones? He's yes. also the voice of Michigan football. J.J. McCarthy's energy is infectious, and it bleeds throughout this entire team. All right, Jenny, thank you very much. Here's Tuttle throwing on first and 10, and he's 
got Roman Wilson. Second down and five. Always good to have a solid backup yeah. quarterback. Especially one with experience, one that you can feel like you re you can rely on in any big moment. Well, he's wrong. Here's a handoff. Hall. And he gets to the 10. And this is a guy, Benjamin Hall. He's a freshman from Georgia. And they've been excited to try to get him some development. It's hard because the backfield room is so deep. But Benjamin Hall is a guy that ran for almost 100 yards in spring ball, in, in, excuse me, in the spring game. And at a good camp, it's just hard to find time when you got Blake Corum and Donovan Edwards and Khalil Mullings. But here getting a chance for some run, and this is when you put some tape out there that earns extra carries down the stretch. Excited for a young guy to get out there and get his chance. Michigan inside the red zone. First down and goal at the 10. All again. Second down and goal at the seven yard line. They'll pitch it. Edwards looking for his first touchdown and he goes down inside the five. Third down and goal at the two. Edwards. Looks like a touchdown. Blake Corb celebrates and it is. Donovan Edwards. I think you've already been quoted as saying you like Notre Dame. I, I do. And I'll tell you what about J.J. I feel like when I watch this young man, I think of Dean Smith, the legendary basketball coach at North Carolina who coached Michael Jordan. And Dean Smith used to brag. He said, I'm the only man that could hold Michael Jordan to 15 <laughs> points a game. Because that's what... Michael averaged in college. In college, that's right. But Dean Smith also taught him how to average 30 in the NBA. And I feel like we haven't seen what this young man, J.J. McCarthy, is going to do. The defensive players just don't play a lot of snaps for Michigan. And to be, I, like, I think it's a delay game. Delay game. Offense, five yard penalty. Five -yard penalty. First down. First down. And all these 300 pounders, the way that they've developed in the offseason, I'll tell you, that freshness is going to really pay off down the stretch. Here's a deep pass. Jackson back in the game, and it's intercepted. Another interception this time. Saab. And he goes out of bounds. He had a pick six last week. Michigan just forcing turnover after turnover after turnover after turnover. Hall. He'll gain five on the play. Well, you know, it's interesting because this team is deep, right? And we've been talking about that throughout the game. But if you ask Coach Harbaugh, he will really credit their strength and conditioning coach, Ben Herbert. Now, Ben Herbert has been with the program for a long time. He talked to me today just about the mental toughness, that edge, making sure his guys are always ready. And boy, has he been a factor of success for this team. All right, thank you very much, Jen. You know, in fact, Ben Herbert, their strength coach, they tried to nominate Ben Herbert for the assistant coach of the year. Royals? Royals Award last year, and the Royals Award wouldn't let him. <laughs> wouldn't I think they should it. give it to him because he doesn't have a hat on or anything, and it's raining outside. Well, this That's is, a tough guy right there. This is the type of guy that understands that you never ask your troops to do anything that you're not willing to do. As a strength coach, he's asking them to do a lot of crazy things in the offseason. And so there's no way he's going to be caught dead with gloves or a hat on in a little rainstorm in the middle of October. I bet you there's one young man that's playing professional football that would say that Coach Herbert's doing a good job, and his name is Aiden Hutchinson. That's right, Lions. You ain't lying. Ben Herbert has been here for a long time, and over the last three years, really, the seed that was sown by Aiden Hutchinson and his teammates post-COVID. You, know, you talk about Josh Ross, Hassan Haskins, Andrew Vistardis. Through the development of Ben Herbert, those guys planted seeds that we're just now seeing come to fruition. The depth, the physicality, and the mentality. I think you can call it culture here at Michigan, which is, I mean, second to none, really, in college football. Paul bobbled it and is... Tackled at the line of scrimmage. I, hey, Jenny, I was on ice skates with you. I know that you are a competitor. No doubt. Lacrosse player at Boston University. 
I Coach, appreciate that. Well, Coach Urban may have his hands full when you go down to the weight room. Here's Hall and a first down. First down and goal of nine. Congratulations, Jim. Yeah, Jenny, congratulations. Oh Gosh, Joel, thank you. I mean, you guys are the best teammates around, so I wouldn't be, be here without this team. So thank you, guys. All right. And they'll run it with Hall. Benjamin Hall. Benjamin Hall. Gains two. Robbie Harrison defensively. Second and goal at the seven. Hall again. They're trying to get him into the end zone, but this time he's denied by that Hoosier defense. Swarming Patrick Lucas, Nick Toomer. Third down and goal at the eight. Tuttle underneath. Caught. Frederick Moore couldn't get in, got close. Benjamin Hall still in the backfield. This is personal for Tuttle. He's an Indiana transfer. In the end zone. Touchdown. Pardon. Carmelo English. Jack Tuttle, transfer from Indiana, comes over here and has some success against his former mates. Extra point up and good. Give Michigan the overwhelming lead as you take a look at the total yards. Michigan started slowly. Indiana led this game at one time 7-0. Three sacks in the first quarter by the Hoosiers. Here's the deal. Wisconsin's got a great chance to really separate themselves in that side of the conference. Still playing divisions this year, obviously. And the run for Howland, Trent Howland. What's going on with Iowa and Coach Ferentz, his son, their offense? Well, shade below the uh, average needed. Let's just say it that way. And unfortunately for them, and, and, and I don't think people understand. Some people don't know what the average means. So there, there was, you know, a, a let's just call it a, a bar set for the offensive coordinator, who's Brian Ferentz, Kirk Ferentz's son. A minimum, if you will, in terms of average points that they needed. Um, or else, you know, he would be, quote, evaluated after the year. And because, let's face it, Iowa's had some great defenses, and they they haven't been great on offense. Last last year, historically so, in terms of the quality of their defense and ineptitude of their offense. And so that, that bar, about, you know, 25, 24 points per game, they're behind that average. Now, when you get to this game, Unfortunately for even Michigan fans who I'm sure wanted Kate McNamara to go on and have success after he left here, won a Big Ten championship, went and transferred to Iowa. He's hurt now, and now Iowa's down to a backup quarterback, while Wisconsin is finding their footing under their new coach, Luke Fickle. Braylon Allen, their running back, starting to get going a little bit. Their defense is playing better, and if Wisconsin were to beat Iowa, that would be Iowa's second loss in conference play, and Wisconsin would be two full games clear in conference play of anybody else in the West Division. So even early in October, they would have a, a pretty clean path towards representing that side of the conference in Indianapolis. Third and four, Indiana. Trips at the top of your screen, twins at the bottom. A motion. Holloman, first down. I'd be interested from your standpoint of, of where you think this team could rank amongst some of the really quality teams in the history of this storied program. I think they'd rank really high. If you take a look at Michigan's remaining schedule, Spartans next. Big game against Purdue. And then Penn State. They rank really high. The national championship team was a terrific team. Obviously, they won the national championship. Yep. Early Back-to-back -back -back Big Ten championships. College football playoff appearances. And this young man, Jim Harbaugh, he, he 
He's in line to get a new contract, Joel. Well, he should. I mean, let's face it, he deserves it. He's been one of the best coaches in college football over the last few years. They're 31 and 3 since he restructured that contract, really, then, you know, got an extension. And now probably in line for another one, at least in my estimation. And another fumble and another turnover. No, it looks like Indiana has it. When you take a look, though, at Jim Harbaugh. They've won their last 24 non-CFP games in the last 18 Big Ten games coming into this ball game. And I thought it was interesting. I asked him the question. Especially in today's world, on fourth down, Indiana going for it. And it'll be close. Let's see. It depends on and the spot. Soresby. Looks like he has the first down. I asked him a question. I said, in today's world, when you have the offense, offense is changing, you look at what Lincoln Riley has done at USC and what he did at Oklahoma and Ryan Day, they throw it a lot. If he ever thought about, as a former quarterback, becoming a more of a pass-happy team, <laughs> his response was classic. It was. He's like, you ever met Jack Harbaugh? <laughs> his dad. <laughs> and he said, well, yeah. And he goes, well, he says, wherever you bury me, and I don't care where. This is Jack saying this. Is. Whatever you do on my tombstone, put a diagram of the power play. <laughs> it's just, his bread and butter run play. Which means that under Harbaugh, Michigan is going to run the football up the sideline, back shoulder, caught, and a touchdown for IU. Thus, if, if we were going back to that play. I, yeah, this, so they did a quick review up top. Soresby looking. Throws in the end zone. Knocked away and incomplete at the last moment. Trying to hold him off the board here. Under pressure again. And Indiana had a 7 0 lead. And since that point, Chris Jenkins and the rest of the Wolverines rolled off 52 straight points and amassed 401 yards while Indiana didn't gain more than 100 yards the rest of the game. That was complete domination after that first quarter. Final play of the game, and that'll do it. Michigan, 52. Indiana, 7. Wolverines, a perfect 7-0 on the season. They'll take on Michigan State next week.